Well, hard swim baits, in my opinion, are a little bit different than a glide bait. Uh, for me, hard swim baits, you know, can have multiple joints or hinges to them, okay, you know, one, two, three, four. And a glide bait is usually just got that one pivot point. And a glide bait is pretty much limited to one type of that sliding or gliding retrieve, where a hard swim bait gives an angler a couple different options. So that's the, the lure I wanted to talk about today. So as far as the equipment, I like to fish my hard swim baits on something that's similar to just my regular hard suspending jerk bait rod, okay? It's got that medium heavy power rating and that fast action tip to it. And I like to put fluorocarbon line on here for this situation, usually about that 15 pound. And I just find that this is a nice setup for myself for fishing these hard swim baits. Now there's a couple different types of retrieves that you can use. A lot of times I'll start off with just that straight winding type of retrieve and let that real just enticing action of the hard swim bait start to let me know if there's bass in the area, you know, what they're wanting. Then I will go ahead and mix in that start stop type of a retrieve. This is a lure that gets lots and lots of follows. And when you give it that start stop retrieve mixed in with your straight retrieve, a lot of times when it stops, that is what triggers the bite. So go ahead and mix up those two couple presentations and every once in a while I'll just throw a twitch in there as well to give it a quick little starting type of an action. But this is a lure that just does a great job of calling fish up or out of cover and then it's our job to give them that retrieve that they're looking for. Now when you're reeling, if you're using that straight reel retrieve, I like to keep it slower more often than I will fish it fast. And the reason I do that is I'm just a firm believer that bass will oftentimes be enticed to attack when they see that easy meal. Just like us walking through the kitchen. If there's you know a bowl of potato chips sitting on the counter, we're probably going to grab one when we walk by. Same type of deal. If they can look at this prey species and be like, whoa, that's, I think I can get that one. That's an easy, easy meal to attack. That is what I'm trying to imitate when I'm using that hard swim bait. So that's why that retrieve will often be one I start with. Now, as far as the size of the lure, it's nice to have several different sizes available, especially if you're imitating things like panfish. So I'll start off with some smaller ones, then I'll go up to some bigger ones. And what I'm trying to do is figure out the bite, okay? Maybe they aren't hitting the big one at all and I gotta downsize. And then maybe I downsize, you know, on a particular day and I'm just getting all kinds of little fish and I wanna go for a better quality fish. So do some mixing and matching, playing around with size because hard swim baits in particular can really kind of dial in a fish or what the bass are doing based on the size of the lure. And this is a type of allure that you don't want to be afraid to kind of throw out to what looks like open water. You don't always have to be fishing it right tight to the shoreline. Uh, it's a great lure to call fish up from deeper water, especially if you're fishing it in clearer types of situations. There could be a submerged weed bed down there. There could be a boulder pile. You know, there could be a saddle under the water that we aren't aware of. So, you know, you don't always have to work it up shallow in the shoreline. You can kind of do some fan casting and search around with these hard swim baits and you might just find something you did not know was down there that's holding the fish. And speaking of finding fish, if you'd like to watch a video that talks about an article that Rick Clun wrote that refers to what may be the future of finding bass, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.